Lately, I've been getting around five hours of sleep every night. Too little. The same goes for me too, you know. Also, I played hockey for two days in a row. I overdid it somewhat. Really? Yes. I lose up to two kilos a game. It's a very energy-intensive sport. And who are your partners? Chiefly Federal Guard Service staffers. All of them are well-built guys, and they're all masters of martial arts. Have they played hockey before, or learned to play afterwards? I've just learned. No, I meant them. Some had played, and others learned later. They also kept me company learning the basics of alpine skiing, and something else. On just one occasion, they did not go with me. While skiing? Why? Because I went there by helicopter. The chopper descended and flew low, so we first dropped the skis and then jumped out of there. It had no chance to land. Where was that? In the Caucasus, in Sochi. At what altitude? A little above 2,000 meters. Free ride? Sorry? Free ride? Yes, free ride. It was bad because... Deep snow? No, had there been a deep covering of snow, it would have been better. The top layer melted in the daytime. Towards the evening, a solid shell formed on the surface. Oh, I see. I can't remember the term for it. Powder snow? Pulverschnee in German. So, powder snow. Right you are, powder snow. It's really good for skiing. But due to that crust of ice, my legs sank in ankle deep. It was really difficult. Physically difficult? I had to leap out. Not slide, but leap out and then pull my legs out. Do you ski on expert slopes? No, I used to do it before, but not anymore. When you were young, who did you want to be like? Like Zorge. That is a different story. At what age? In high school. What about your children? They are employed in the field of science. I don't mean that. I'm talking about who was an authority figure for them. I hope that I was. What about your grandchildren? They are too small. As for one of my grandchildren, my daughter started to instruct him on how to live his life. Which one? It doesn't matter. <coughs> you shouldn't have snorted. I didn't snort. It was merely a slight cough. Exactly. There's nothing to ahem at. You don't live my life and you don't understand the security issues. It's just that when someone is far from these things, they simply don't notice them. Anyway, when my daughter started to teach one of my grandsons, he asked, Why should I do as you do? She answered, because I'm older. He said, no, Grandpa Vova is older. <laughs> so for them at least so far, in any case so far, I am such an authority. Have you changed a lot personally? Me? You. Well, you know, my friends from school and from university, I have fewer friends from school now, but my university friends say that I have not changed much. They are in a better position to judge than I am. And I would like to not lose, you know, any human qualities. Pardon me, but the thing is that when you occupy this position, sometimes it feels like you cease to be a human being and become nothing more than a mere function. Really? Yes, but I think I still manage to preserve my human qualities. But you were aware that once you reached the point of no return, there was no turning back. It would be impossible, let's say, to go to a pub with your friends on a Friday evening without any secret service agents. Lately I've been trying to give up beer. It makes me put on weight. Well, of course, going out... What I was trying to say is that this is a one-way ticket. Yes, clearly there are limitations, undoubtedly there are. But there is something that makes up for these limitations. And the best reward is the emotional gratification you get from the way people trust you. It is very important. But these limitations are the reason why the topic of the family... You get annoyed every time someone tries to come close to this topic. Well, you know, when I run for office and the elections lead to a certain result, people vote for me, not for my family. And for the hopes they have about me holding this office that I am occupying now, I know... You think it's improper or what? I know that Western political culture implies that family members have to be in the limelight. I believe that we are not in a situation where such theatrics would be appropriate. Everything we do must be done in a mature way. That's the first reason. 
The second one is that there are security concerns. We must not forget about those. They are always on my mind. Okay, how many grandchildren do you have? Well, of course, I'm not asking you to show me their photographs for a later publication. But it is very easy to count them. But what for? I have already said that I have grandchildren. I'm very happy. They are very good and sweet. I really enjoy spending time with them. That's it? Yes. They are sweet little children. Well, for everybody, this feeling comes naturally. And I'm very grateful that I get to experience it. What personal losses have you experienced over the past 20 years? Personal losses? <sighs> My parents died right at the beginning of this journey. That was my greatest loss. Do you believe in destiny? In what the Arabs call maktub? If it is meant to be, it will be? I believe that it is not that simple. There are many theories, many beliefs on this topic. I believe in destiny, but I believe that we can influence it. Can or can't? Can. Can. Yes. Have you managed to? I believe that if... Please, be specific. Well, no, I won't be specific. It helps a lot to have confidence in yourself, in your abilities, and most importantly, in doing the right thing. That helps. That can change your fate.